Guys, and Dan, check this out. Today, we will take a look at my Shucks collection because we do have a new shock figure right here from Good Jitsu. Okay, it is a goo shifter, very cool. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys like a preview of what's coming up. Okay, you know, maybe on Sunday or Monday, plenty of new sea animal figurines to add to our collection. So, I'm actually very very excited about the next video okay but today we'll take a look at our sharks collection let's go all right guys so let's take a look at this i think this it's like a you know a prehistoric shark which is known as a megalodon let's have a look i have actually opened this on dan surprise so this is actually my second time you know taking a look at this figure which i think looks really good so check this out guys so it comes with a movable jaw and you can see the body is like translucent. You're able to see right through it, not very clearly. And it seems there is like a little ball inside. Let's have a look at this. Wow, it looks really, really cute. Okay, it has like a little, I have no idea what this is. It seems to be a little ball. I have no idea, could it be like an animal pot, you know, from another sea animal? It could be. So, yep, this is a really beautiful, Gujitsu shock figurine. I think this looks really good. I'm just gonna call this like a Megalodon, okay? Let's proceed and take a look at the other shock figures. What do we have right here? A basking shock right here. Okay, we'll move fast. What about this one? A lemon shock. It basically gets its name based, I mean, from its skin color. This is a Mega Mouth Shark, as you guys can see. It's quite a cool one. So Mega Mouth Sharks are actually very, very rare. They can only be found like, in the deep ocean waters. Next up, this is a new figure, a Shark Ray, a really beautiful one from Collecte, a 2017 figure. And speaking of Collecte, I have a new box of Collecte figures. Check this out, guys. It's actually right here on the floor to be opened on Jurassic Den or maybe Den Surprise, okay? So, let's have a look at this. What is this? I think this is a sawfish right here. 2014 collective figure. Beautiful. Maybe let's put all the different, all the same species together. Here's another sawfish right here. This one, it's actually from National Geographic set. What about this one? A hammerhead shark. But this, it's a scallop hammerhead shark. 2006 figure. Scallop hammerhead shark. Beautiful. I think we have two of them. Here's the other one, which is exactly the same. We bought the wrong figure. We thought it is a different figure. And here we have a hammerhead shark baby. Do not ask me why this baby is so huge. I think they just made the figures really, really big. They tried to create the figures in a cute manner, as you guys can see. The eyes are actually pretty adorable. So Hammerhead Shark right here, 2006 Safari LTD. Let's have a look at this. Is this a Zebra Shark or is this a Leopard Shark? Let's have a look. It's a Leopard Shark. So basically, Zebra Sharks and Leopard Sharks, they are the same species, okay? If you take a look at this, this is a Zebra Shark because they are basically the same. The patterns on his body will change as they grow. So they can be called a zebra shark or they can be called a leopard shark. Since we have leopard shark, it's only fair that we also have the tiger sharks right here, guys. So this, it's a tiger shark, easily recognizable because it has stripes across its body right here. 1993. Safari LTD figure. And here's another smaller version. I think we got this Tiger Shark from a Toys R Us playset. We have another Shark Raid right here. This is a beautiful one from Safari LTD. I'm gonna put this next to the other Safari LTD Shark Raid. Oh, wait a, wait a minute. Collective Shark Raid, I beg your pardon. Sand Tiger Shark, one of the most timid sharks out there. Although it looks very, very ferocious looking. Yep. This is a very, very shy shark. And here we have a Schleich Great Whites. We have plenty of Great Whites in our collection. Okay, so you're going to see plenty of them. Here we have another Hammerhead. I'm just going to put this next to 
I mean, among the hammerhead sharks right here. Oops, what is on the floor? We have the oceanic white tip shark right here. There is another white tip shark which I'm going to show you guys later on. This, it's a Mako shark. A blue shark, I beg your pardon. Yeah, it looks very, very similar to the Mako shark which I'm going to show you guys right now. Take a look at this. It looks almost the same. In terms of the shape, very, very similar, I would say. This is a Mako Shark 2017 Safari LTD, and this one is a 1993. Wow, this has been like 30 years, which is the same as Jurassic Park. You guys must be wondering why are there like so many Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, you know, ornaments, decorations on my table. In case that you guys do not know, we have a main channel called Dan Surprise where we showcase our dinosaurs collection okay this is a 2015 great white shark figure from collecte i think this figure looks amazing you can see it is like different rows of teeth and you guys know that great white sharks they can actually replace their missing teeth if they lose one tooth they are able to replace it back by growing it back which is kind of incredible i'm not too sure how long it would take for one tooth to grow it to grow back but i I don't think it would take a long time. Goblin shark, one of the very, very rare sharks to spot. And one which is very similar to the Mega Mouth shark um, in a way where they are being located. They can only be falling really, really deep in the ocean waters. Okay, next up, another hammerhead shark right here. 1991, another really beautiful great white. I think this looks really beautiful. Let's call this the Megalodon. I think this can pass on as a Megalodon. Megalodons are basically, you guys should know that, a prehistoric shark, which is 10 times the size of a modern day Great White. And speaking of Great White, we have another one right here, guys. 2016 Safari LTD, beautiful Great White shark figure. Here is another Great White shark figure. I told you guys that we have plenty of Great Whites in our collection, but we only have like one of this shark right here. Are you guys able to tell me the name? Fruit shark. Fru, F-R-I-L-L-E-D. Fruit shark right here, beautiful, okay? Another hammerhead shark, 1996 figure, which is also very, very old, 27 years old, this figure. Megalodon, okay? This one is the actual Megalodon figure in our collection. Take a look at the name written right below. 2013 Safari LTD figure, really beautiful. You can see it has like three rows of teeth below, guys. Check this out. And how many rows on top? Three as well, wow. This is definitely the Megalodon. This one, I have no idea what this is. So I'm just going to put this aside. If you guys know the name, let me know down below. This one, I think it's a salmon shark, but I'm not 100% sure. But we do have a new salmon shark figure later on, which I'm going to show you guys. Okay, tiger shark. We have the exact same figure right here. Okay, what, a, what is this? This is basically the bull shark one of the most ferocious and aggressive sharks out there. There have been more attacks recorded by a bull shark as compared to a great white. So they are technically more dangerous and more aggressive than a great white. And speaking of great white, yes, we have another one, which is quite gruesome looking right here. I really love how they have sculpted the face. It looks very, very, Kind of like hideous looking, kind of like scary looking. I think it's kind of realistic as well. Basking shark, not the best figure, but you can see the mouth is wide open. Okay, basking shark, in case that I have not told you guys, it is a future figure. It may look very, very ferocious and intimidating looking, but in fact, it is pretty harmless to human because they are filter feeders, which means they suck in all the water and they filter out all the small food particles which is basically they don't swallow humans yeah that's right and here is another basking shark and here is another basking shark so in total we have four basking sharks in our collection which is kind of cool okay all right next up i'm gonna show you guys a i would say that this is actually one of our latest additions 
a salmon shark, which is why I think this is also a salmon shark, because the patterns on his body seem to be very similar. Okay, wait a minute. But you can see these spots right here are found at the bottom of the body, whereas for this shark right here, the spots are found on top of his body. I'm not too sure, but I feel they are the same. You can take a look at the fins. They are in the exact same position. Okay, so is the great white. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. And so is the tiger shark. They all have very, very similar fin structure. So my theory of, you know, similar fins does not work, guys. Yeah, I have no idea. So I need the help of you guys. This is a figure from Mojo. Is this a salmon shark? If you guys know, let me know. Let me know down below. Next up, we have the black tip reef shark. Beautiful figure. Here we have another great white shark from Papo. Beautiful sawfish. Okay, 1994. Oh my goodness, this is 29 years old. Okay, this is our sawfish collection. Uh, I call this the Ghost Shark, I'm not too sure whether it's the right name and not a great white as you guys can see. Too many great whites in our collection. Mega Mouth, that's right. And what is this? Nurse Shark, okay? This is another Shark Ray. This is a Thrasher Shark. What is a Thrasher Shark? This is another Thrasher Shark. This is a really beautiful one. So Thrasher Shark, they have a long tail that can be used as a whip. A whip to, to actually slash up at the prey to stun them before feeding on them. Excellent skill, excellent weapon, extremely cool and interesting shark I would say. And here it's a bamboo shark. Shot fin Mako shark right here guys and speaking of um uh, Mako shark I think we do have another one where is it I can't find it so what is this it looks like a hammerhead guys but you can see the hammerhead is actually way shorter than the actual hammerhead shark it is known as a bonnet head shark and we have a white tip reef shark right here and what is this guys another mini great white we have a rubber gong right here guys this is actually from schleich beautiful one and um here's another rubber gong hammerhead all these are mini figures this one i have no idea i'm calling this a uh nurse shark um this one seemed to be a zebra shark a mini great white this is a a hammerhead shark but with black tips this is a black tip reef shark, I'm sure. Great, great white. Thrasher shark, another figure. Great white. No idea what this is. Probably a blue shark. Probably a blue shark or a great white. Mini shark. Mini shark. <laughs> That's a mini blue shark, by the way. Mini great white. Mini hammerhead. Shark. I have no idea what shark this is. Mini sawfish. And our last figure of the day is actually a shark, which I have no idea what species this is. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my sharks collection video. Yeah, I think sharks is actually a very, very popular, um, you know, video on my channel. I think a majority of you guys actually love watching me talk about sharks so i'm gonna put all the sharks back into the box all right so yeah we can just chat about this you know in the next video you know you can actually comment down below to request for a video for example like crocodiles versus you know lizards hopefully i'm able to come up with a long video because i may not have enough content or enough figures for the particular video that you are requesting for but some you know like a shark versus lions will be kind of cool i i feel this kind of content or we could have 
different battles in one video. It could be shark versus lions collection. It could be tiger versus dolphin. You know, all in one. We could have like probably like three collection battles. They're not about, you know, battles, but more on collection battle. Like the number of great whites that I have versus the number of lions that I have. Yeah, I think that is pretty nice. All right. That is all. I've finished packing my sharks. I'm going to put it back into um, the shelves. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this and goodbye.